Okay, today on Chris Does What, we're looking at this Acer laptop, the Aspire R11. Now, of course, it's, it's unboxed, comes with a power cord and a laptop. Stay tuned. We'll go over the uh, features and specs of this laptop and see if it's going to make the cut as a new laptop that I actually want to use. laptop you'll see well you maybe you won't see it comes with a Ceron processor 2 gigs of RAM DDR3 low voltage memory 11.6 inch multi-touch HD LCD and uh, 32 gig of hard drive space color sky blue I don't think this has enough hard drive space to do anything you really want. In fact, I've had it out of the box for a while and I had to put another hard drive in to actually do a Windows update. So on the right side of the laptop as you're looking at it, you'll see the volume and the power button button. The left you have an Ethernet cable, full-size Ethernet cable, and a full-size HDMI and two USB slots, full size. On the back of this, this is where I stuck my additional memory card. We open the laptop, we look and uh, it has this nice touch screen. Of course you can touch things, move things around. It actually does, it's really responsive to your touch. Uh, look at the keyboard. You have nice large keyboard. Here's home row. I can fit my fingers, of course, like I would normally type. Well, and then your G, of course. Your uh, your mouse pad on this is very responsive. Two button click. You have your left click, right click, and it's just a standard keyboard works uh, very well. Now as we're doing the memory test you'll see that the resolution on this is it's not the greatest. It's kind of choppy when you do like high intensive resolution. So as we go through this memory test not as smooth as you'd like it to be but so far out of the three I've tested this is the best. And uh, let's go to the uh, Cameo Studio and we'll take a look at uh, the performance and stuff without looking through a, uh, a camera. Okay. I have tried four times to do a screen record on this laptop. Wouldn't work. It keeps locking up and it won't play the video or won't play it with sound. So we're going to do the video on my camera. So, look at this, here's our results. We'll touch the screen. So, basically a surfboard, desktop surfboard. Gaming tree trunk, workstation tree trunk. Does not perform very well. Doesn't even like my touch. Okay, 17% processor, 3% on graphics. That's actually the highest test we've had. It was normally 2%. Boot drive, 23%. That's the best we've had. And uh, performance, it sucks. You can read these as I scroll up. Here we go. Wouldn't buy it. Latency starts to uh, peg, uh, max out at one megabyte. So you're gonna get uh, memory latency. That's not very much. Now let's look at the processing. We opened it up, it pegs out at 100%. I've got Firefox 
and that's it open. So, oh, there's Cam Studio down there. So, performance isn't that that great on this laptop. There's our spike from opening our task manager. Hard drive space. This thing sucks on hard drive space. That's user benchmark. That's what I used for the test. Hard drive space. We have 4.27 gigs free. So at 4.27 gigs free, I couldn't do a Windows update without putting that drive in. And then lastly, we'll talk about battery life. The battery life on this thing is great. I flew here uh, from Maryland to Texas and did not charge in the airport. And I'd say about six hours on battery, got here to Texas and had 35% uh, of my battery life left. So you can not perform very well for a long time, which is a lot of fun. You can sit there and I did play SimCity on this. It will, it has enough performance to do SimCity. So if you like this channel, subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. After this, I do have outtakes on me trying to do the Cam Studio recording.